Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do our first knife review. This is going to be a knife review of the Microtech Ultratech. This is the new boxes that they come in nowadays. As you can tell right there, it is a Leo knife. So you have to be a member of a law enforcement community or a EMS person, ambulance driver, some type Firefighter. of... Firefighter. Yeah, some type of emergency services type person to be able to qualify for these knives. And you do have to prove by showing them a copy of your credentials. So just to be totally upfront and honest about that. For all of that, you get about an $80 discount. So it is worth it. They are very high quality, as some of you may already know. This is the way it comes. I have not done anything with mine at all, except for look at it and then put it back in its packaging. So it does come in a nice box with Microtech all over it. If you don't know, Microtech does have a small issue with uh, people copying the looks of their knives and designs and, and producing counterfeit knives. So make sure that you do buy from a authorized Microtech dealer to make sure you get the real thing and you don't cheap out and end up with a counterfeit that's worth less than half the value. If the price is too good to be true, it's not true. So make sure you do your homework and buy from a reputable Microtech dealer. All right, so let's talk about the size of the knife a little bit here first. It is a switchblade or an automatic knife. They are not authorized in all states, but I do live in the state of Oregon and it is totally authorized here. Let's compare it to a few things. This is a Kershaw Skyline. This is a Rat 2. So you can see by comparing it to these other knives that the Ultratech itself is not a huge knife. Not at all. And this is a Manix, regular Manix from Spyderco. This is my regular EDC, a knife. It is a little bit dirty and it has lots of wear on it from using it over the last four years or so. I will be replacing it with this knife right here as my EDC. Anyway, as you can see, the blade itself is not as wide as most of these others. A big difference in width, but as far as length is concerned, it's very close. So the knife is quite light. This is an ultralight version of the Manix. But you can see right here that actually the Microtech will probably be a little bit easier to daily carry. Let's get those out of the way. Let's talk a little bit about the Microtech itself. This knife has been a huge seller for Microtech. It is one of the out the front or OTF knives in their lineup. Microtech knives go back to 1995 with the Halo edition. And then later in 1999, the Ultratech came out. Nowadays, the hot seller for them is the Direct Delta and the Scarab 2, which are the newer models from Microtech. These blades are not inexpensive. Typical retail price on this one right here is around $290. And you can get a smaller knife than this. They are called the UTX-85 or the UTX-70. The 85 is 85% 85 of its size of this one right here. And the 70 is, you guessed it, about 70% of the size. I find both those knives to be a little bit too small. In my hand right here, this is about what it looks like if I've got a full grip on the knife. So it's not a great big knife, but it is a decent sized knife. It fires out there like nobody's business. It's a very positive feel to this blade. If you work this over and over again, you will eventually wear out your thumb first. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, you can ask young Brett on that one. He was flicking it so much when he got his that uh, he had to take a break from it because it was causing problems. Yeah, I played with my two Microtechs so much that I actually messed up both of my thumbs, my skin on my thumbs. So, yeah, that happened. They're very fun to play with and just mess with. One thing that I do recommend doing, though, speaking of how rough the um, activation switch is on them, I actually ended up sanding on mine to give it a more, you know, easier feel, and it just won't be as abrasive as this is out of box. I use 3,000 grit sandpaper, so if you guys are interested in doing that, that's what I recommend to use. With that in mind, he did use some ultra, ultra fine sandpaper. And when I looked at it, guys, I could not tell any difference on his switch compared to my brand new switch. So it didn't do any damage at all to the switch. Because Microtech is using very high end materials. Yes. Everything on these things is high grade. So again, you get what you pay for. 
So a couple more things I did want to cover on this Leo knife. They are made to order, guys. If you can see right there, this has a date that it was made, which is 12 of 21, which is exactly the month that I ordered it. So these things are pretty much made to order. They don't have a big supply of them, and you will have to be patient for about three to four weeks for the knife to reach you. I do find those small inconveniences well worth the end product that you get right here. That's because you're used to waiting a long time to get something like a custom 1911. It's very true. Right here is a Tanto blade and the blade is M390 steel. Some people refer to it as M390 super steel because not too long ago it was considered a very rare steel and very sought after steel. Can you see it right there? I think you can. M390 right next to my thumb. It has the blood groove there as well, right? Yeah, which is really cool. And Microtech is very easy to see here, Micro Microtech USA. So very easy to read there. And on the other side, it looks like this. Very good. Here's the massive clip on the back. Again, it's colored about the same color as the blade. It's like a stone wash finish. Mm -hmm. Very generous and strong to hook into your pants. And then it has a glass breaker on the end. And I think all the Ultratechs have a glass breaker on the end. And it's got a little tie-off thing, too, if you wanted to tie it off somehow. The lanyard or something, yeah. Right. Yeah. And notice that the, uh, you know, their own type of screws and stuff, very well made here. Attention to detail is very high. Pretty good blade. Thickness, yeah, look at, look, look at that blade, man. It thins out a little bit here and gets a little bit thicker right here. Give it a little bit more strength. Don't be doing anything stupid with it. Don't use it as a, a crowbar or a screwdriver. It's not made for that. This is a high quality knife. All right, guys, and closing up with this Microtech knife, the Ultratech again. Any of the regular ones you can get in all kinds of different colors. There's a cool orange, there's a red, there's a blue, there's a black. You know, check it out, see what you can find them for. They make a bunch of special editions and stuff like that. Yep. Retail prices on these are about $290, and we got it for about $230 shipped. And they can go up to $400, you guys, with the special editions. And you can see right there, just a little over three and a quarter inches in blade length to where the uh, grip is right here, the body of the knife. So it's not a small knife. I prefer this size. If you don't like one quite this big, get the UTX 85. I don't think you really need to get much smaller than that. The uh, UTX 70 seems way too small to me. If you want something bigger, you're looking at the Combat Truodon, the regular Truodon, etc. Different knives that you may see on our channel at a later date. All right, guys, I think that's it for about this first knife review. Again, I'm going to start using this as an EDC knife, and I did want to get some of this uh, information out there on the CZ 9mm USA channel. There will be more knife reviews coming on the CZ 9mm USA channel, and there will also be more firearm reviews coming on that channel. This is the Springfield Armory Emissary. And this brand new Les Bear Custom 10 millimeter. With a pair of special edition lock grips. Love those Colt Delta Elite medallions on the 10 millimeter Les Bear. All of our custom grips come from lock grips, if you guys are interested in something like that. All right, guys, that's it for this review. If you like this review, make sure you tune in again next week where we'll be bringing even more content. Thanks for watching the review. Remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting, and we'll see you guys on the next video.